This is a match between two teams at opposite ends of the table and in need of drastically different outcomes. For Dartford, sitting second in the table but a massive 21 points behind the runaway leaders, they'll be looking for a win to consolidate their position in second as the playoffs fast approach, hoping to secure a favourable draw when that happens. By contrast, Hack and Hayretton's Hamlet sit in the relegation zone with a game in hand on Chesant and much more favourable looking running after this game. It's the third game in a row against the top three in the league and buoyed by a stirring performance against Oxford City last time out, the Hamlet will be looking to deliver a bloody nose to the darts, overturning the 2-1 loss at Champion Hill earlier in the season. Dudzinski lining this one up in the neon orange. Neon orange goalkeeper get left-footed, long. Woodman wrestles. Good challenge in there by Felix, but it's poked towards the box by Dartford. Coulson's trying to get in there. Granger comes out and claims, attempts to claim, but it's taken off him and it's in an open goal. And that's 1-0 to Dartford. Both Ming and Granger got in each other's way there, trying to get that one clear. The ball squirmed away, was played to Alex Wall, who simply side-footed the ball into the empty net. Six and a half minutes gone, it's Dartford 1, Dulwich Hamlet 0. Critchow to take right footed out swinging. Chips it into the danger area. Nodded down by Woodman. Saved well by Dudzinski. Luke Coulson. Right footed out swinging from the right hand side from the number seven. Swings it high towards that far post. Header one by Bonner, but straight out of play for a Dulwich Hamlet goal kick. 25 minutes gone. Still 1 0 to Dartford here at Prince's Park. David Steven Stevens and. Uh, Dion Woodman, and it's Coulson now, 25 yards from goal. Ball breaks to chin on the right-hand side, centre-right channel. Plays it square to the number 20, Adadu. Now Winter clips it towards the right-hand side, finds the number 12, and then it's a strike from Wall, saved well. Throwing to be taken by uh, Mead on the far side, thrown down the line, nodded on well by Dartford. And they've clipped it away from Felix and there's a chance for Chin to have a run on the break on this right-hand side. He's only got Stevens with him. Got Wall on the outside of him, plays to Coulson instead. Coulson with the strike, it's tame. Saved well by Charlie Granger. Watch that one all the way. Corner from the right to be taken right-footed in swinging by Luke Coulson. Drifted towards the centre of the box. Header one, free header from Statham over the bar. No one tracked the run of Maxwell Statham there. He had the freedom of the Dulwich Hamlet box, but contrived to head over the bar. But it's Campbell who's spotting the ball up. Campbell on his return to his former club, Dartford. Steps up and strikes, deflects off the wall, second strike. Just skips wide of the base of Dudzinski's right-hand post. Right-footed in swinging from the left-hand side. It's Coulson now towards that far post. Not a down by Statham. Goes in the back of the net, but it's a foul at that far post, so that's going to be a free kick for Dulwich Hamlet. Of Adadu. Back to him now. His cross into the box. Headed away well by Stevens and then cleared by Quade Taylor. Not done by Danny Mills over the halfway line. Sent straight back the way it came, though, by Tom Bonner. The attempted cross is charged down by Lawless, but finds Coulson. Coulson on the edge of the box now, right footed. Finds Wall with a strike, and that's 2 0. Second goal of the game for Alex Wall. Strikes early in the second half, as he did early in the first. It's a poor attempted clearance by, by Connor Lawless. Allowed Coulson to stride across the top of the box from the left-hand side. He tracked a couple of Hamlet players with him, and it found his pass found Alex Wall on the right-hand side of the box, who simply slammed it right-footed past Charlie Granger. Dodzinski with it out towards the right-hand side this time. Felix putting the pressure on now, but it's good work by Chin, and then chipped out to Statham on that far side, the right for Dartford. He's in the Hamlet half and plays an early cross into the box, looking for Wall, and that's his hat trick. Fantastic cross from the right-hand side from. Maxwell Statham and he founds number nine Alex Wall to volley beyond Charlie Granger 
And it's a real mountain to climb for the Hamlet now. 53 minutes gone. 3-0 to Dartford. Launch long. Headed high up into the air by Assam. Stevens and Mills getting each other's way there. It's broken to Dartford on the far side. Coulson with a strike. And what a save from Charlie Granger. Point blank range save. Again, Mills at the far post, as is Stevens and Woodman. For Wolo's in the box, Porter's lurking with intent. Swung into the box towards the near post. It's nodded on, just wide. Woodman finds Stevens. Now Christian Campbell cutting inside, right footed pass, looks for Mills, lovely flick. Looking for Fawole, Fawole strike, saved well by Dudzinski. First real chance of any note. Stevens now. He's loose on the ball and it's taken by Dartford now. On that far side, the right. Down the line, looking for the run of Chin. Chin's crossing to the box, looking for Bradbury. Bradbury strike, and that's four. Charlie Granger had expected the shot slightly earlier, had already gone to ground. Bradbury paused and lifted it over him into the far corner. It's Dartford four, Dulwich Hamlet nil, turning into a real horror show here for the Hamlet. David Stevens, the on loan. Boring Woodman at left centre back, gives it to Woodman. Woodman chips it forward down the line, looking for Danny Mills, who chests it down nicely, gives it to Felix. First time ball for Fawole. Back to Joe Felix now, gets to the edge of the box, gives it to Powell. Powell strike, left footed just over the bar. Always leaning back there, Joel Powell. Slices a long ball forward, Stevens wins the header. Only as far as Chin though at the edge of the box, good challenge by Campbell. Done. The substitute, left-footed, cross towards the far side, brought by Coulson. Time to set, saved well by Charlie Granger. Had more time than he thought there, Luke Coulson. Nodded down by Mills into the path of Joe Felix. Can they get a consolation here? Cross towards the far post, and there's no one there to get on the end of it. It's Statham seeing that one out on the far side. And that is the last action as... Stephen Parkinson blows his whistle to put everyone in pink and blue out of their misery.